Hey, just back to you were talking about the bottom of the order with with this Mariners uh, as it as it projects. I mean, there's nothing official right now, but looking at you know JP Crawford and AJ Pollock and then you know Kelnick or whoever's part of the platoon with him in left field. I agree with you. There's there's it it could be great. You know, as we talked about, maybe Kelnick finds it, maybe Pollock re- reverts back to form and all that. But what what it does to me is I, I look at Julio in the leadoff spot, which he did a nice job. But I would really love to have him in a position to do some damage, you know, in the in the three spot, in the two spot, even. But if he's in the leadoff spot, he's often going to be up there with the bases empty. If the bottom of the order isn't going to be at least mediocre, I, I just feel like that was kind of the wasted opportunity to really take advantage of what Julio does by bolstering this lineup. You know, especially toward the bottom. Do you do you buy into that? I totally agree, and I, I say that as someone who generally doesn't pay attention to batting orders because they don't matter that much, but in this sense, you if he's going to lead off, so now you've guaranteed absolutely at least one time a game he comes up with the bases loaded because it's the start of the game, and then, yeah, if he's hitting after Crawford, Pollock, Kellenick, even Rally, right, who might hit number six, good power guy, but he's not a very good on-base guy, right? So how many times are you having what we all would agree is your best hitter, Julio Rodriguez, coming up with the bases empty, I don't love that, but I'm with you. What are the other options? You know, Crawford's not a great option. Wong, maybe, but it's it's not great. And uh, I think what's going to happen here, so I'm looking at this right now, the Fangraph's projections for next year, just for the position players, not for the pitchers. They have the Mariners overall projected at, I think, 14th or 15th best in baseball, which I think would surprise Mariners fans. It's about league average. I might take the over on that a little bit, but not by a lot. And I don't think that's what everybody expected going into this, like this is going to be our year to have an average or slightly better than average group of position players, which I think they do have.